Or, That's a mighty no. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, Jack Daniels and Uncle, and Uncle Nearest, their families played together. They knew each other. They're still a part and entwined in each other's lives. And that was just so fascinating. And to hear also, um, oh gosh, I, I mark so much <laughs> in this book. I could tell you were enjoying it because you I took did. time out to call me and say, hey, I'm on this part right here. I found out some more cool stuff and that part's not true. And this, and I'm like, what? This is really, because we've been following this since, I don't know, yeah. since it hit shelves at least. Uh, so the I beginning pre-ordered of this in February. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about the whiskey itself and then the story, I, not, the, not just the yeah. book, but I mean, just we the whiskey itself. When, the whiskey came to when it came to Oklahoma, we were just like, <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. I have to try this out and see what it's really about here. But it's so, you know, we, when I, I admit, when I first heard the story of Uncle Nearest and how he helped, he was the first master distiller. Well, he didn't help. He was the first master distiller of Jack Daniels. I was like, oh, here we go again. It's another story mm -hmm. where black man's work and intellect has been appropriated by a white man. Mm -hmm. But it, it wasn't. That's just what we've seen so much. So we, that's where our mind goes. That's the story we tell ourselves. And that's not it at all. When you go through the history, you see how intertwined and connected they they were. 